Hello, Virgos. All right, welcome back. Thank you so much for your support if you've been to my channel before. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome. I, uh, I hope you find what you are seeking here. Okay, today I'm going to be doing a general reading for your sign here, Virgo. And um, let's go ahead and get into it. If you want to contact me for anything, their information is in the description box below. And uh, it's general, so you know the drill. Take what resonates and leave the rest for somebody else, okay? Heavenly Father, Spirit Guides, and Angels, show me clearly most high message for Virgo. Most high message for Virgo. Show me clearly. Most high message for Virgo. What do my Virgos need to hear? All right, thank you. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have the ram. Okay, I don't know if that's easier to see it back here. Uh, the ram is perseverance. You have many gifts. No problem can withstand the power of your mind. With patience, you can reach your mountain top. Never give up and good luck will follow. I also get the message too, you know, you get by with a little help from your friends. Okay, I don't know why that just popped in there. All right, we have Eagle as the card that came out for you. And that is Mastery. You are on a spiritual journey beyond the sky. Let go of the past and soar. You are guided by the winds of spirit. Your wisdom inspires the world. Okay. Pretty awesome energy. <laughs> All right, Virgos. Show me clearly, Heavenly Father, Spirit Guides, and Angels. Most high message for Virgos. What is it that my Virgos need to hear today? Show me clearly. Virgo, show me clearly. I get the energy that something could be a little chaotic for you right now. I mean, a little bit of difficulty. Uh, kind of having a clear, solid thought, possibly. Uh, creative wonderment, following your passion. Is at the bottom of the deck. And then we have choices. Make the best choices. Uh, for some of you, this needs to do with uh, like a family situation, okay, possibly, but uh, making the best choices uh, for you, okay, uh, and I'm being shown this moon here too, uh, so, you know, maybe being a, a little state of confusion, that energy that I had of the, the chaos there. Uh, having clear thoughts. You could be a little confused about something and there's choices that you need to make. So uh, don't rush. Okay? Heavenly Father, Spirit, God, and Angel, show me clearly most high message for Virgo. Virgo, please. Yes, uh, take your time. Don't, don't make... Don't make a decision in haste, okay? And, and Virgos, I know that that's very uncommon for you to do, but I kind of have this like need to do something now kind of feeling and uh, possibly not thinking clearly part of that chaos you know 
heads all over the place. Um, all right. Virgo, at the bottom of the deck, we have letting go. All right, and number 26, which is an eight. And then we have hole in the soul, a 36, which is a nine. I'm gonna read from the book here. 26 and 36. So you've had a cycle go in between possibly that just uh, came to mind here. So for the letting go, uh, you are being challenged to change your point of view and recognize that this particular rate relationship has run its course. Although you may be afraid to let go, the universe has a new opportunity for you which will allow you to experience the kind of passion and satisfaction you have always dreamed of. Saying goodbye is never easy and can make you feel like you are a failure. You must not allow yourself to be persuaded by other people or your own doubts to keep holding on. Focus on opening your heart to new opportunity. Leave the baggage of the past mistakes behind you. It is important that during the letting go process, you are gentle with yourself. Allow yourself to have alone time. Write, meditate, paint, sing, dance. Do whatever you can to heal and let go of the pain that is holding you back. Recognize that your spirit is beckoning you to grow. Okay, uh, Capricorn got that card too. So some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Don't have to be, just saying. <laughs> All right, hole in the soul. Uh, one way your childhood wounds disrupt an extraordinary life is through low-grade depression experienced as a perpetual empty feeling. If as a child you tried to make everything all right by picking up the pieces of your family's drama, then you adopted a false self. When you lose your authentic self, you disconnect from your true feelings, needs, and desires. Instead, you wear a mask to make others feel more comfortable. Being detached leads to profound loneliness and isolation as you are always mourning your true self. This card encourages you to discover your true self through learning about your childhood and mourning the abandonment and neglect that you felt. Okay, so for some of you, this, this is something that may have been going on since childhood. Some of you could be in your early to late adulthood, okay? So wounds like that uh, don't heal overnight. Okay, so be kind to yourself. Heavenly Father, Spirit Guides, and Angels, show me clearly most high message for Virgos, please. Most high message for Virgos. Yeah, be kind to yourself if this, uh, if you're not healed promptly after you request it from the universe, okay? <laughs> or you've done a week's worth of work on it and uh, it's, it's not done, okay? T it takes time. All right, we have transformation at the bottom of the deck. So going through this cycle here, uh, something, uh, a lesson was learned, okay? So now you're leveling up. And then we have great achievement here that came out for you. So this is uh, taking time. Again, that hole in the soul energy, working on healing yourself. You weren't hurt uh, in childhood uh, quickly, okay? It uh, took, takes time to do a wound big, like a hole in the soul, okay? So it's going to take time to heal, and great achievement comes with time, okay? In this photo here, they show uh, a, a big dinner table being set. A feast or whatever that doesn't get set up in five ten minutes okay so uh, yeah be kind with yourself Heavenly Father spirit guides and angels will show me clearly 
Most high message for Virgos, please. Most high message for Virgos. What is it that they need to hear today? And I think your choice is making the best choice. You know, um, and again, it's taking time with that, but I think it's um, doing what's best for you. Um, or, you know, staying in your comfort zone because you've done it long enough and it's familiar. That's for some of you. Show me clearly. Most high message for Virgo, please. Show me Virgo. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we have rest and rejuvenate. Okay, so some healing is uh, needed. You might be finding yourself, you know, kind of withdrawing from the crowd a little bit, hanging out more at home, um, things of that nature. Um, uh, we have the disruption card, the tower card here. Okay, things um, being really shook up to the core, okay, down to the foundation. And I call it the aha card because afterwards you're like, oh, so that's why I had to do that. You know, that's why this happened here. But you have uh, spiritual strength, okay? You are very wise in your own right, very intuitive in your own right. However, you have spirit guides and angels that are all around you, okay? Keeping you from being completely, you know, covered and overwhelmed with situations you may feel overwhelmed but your spirit guides are keeping that roof from caving in on you okay uh there's triumph here okay there's a victory with this card okay you have uh you have a victory coming in for you um and that uh victory over obstacles and challenges Okay, the road is broken here, if you can see that. Um, but you have guides and spirit all around you, okay, protecting you and showing you the way. They're going to see you over that. It may look like you can't get to the other side, but it's really just a little bit bigger. If you look at the space here and the space here, it's just a little bit longer stretch, and you're there, okay? So the spirit has you. You're, you're being divinely protected here. All right, let's get into the tarot part. Heavenly Father, spirit guides, and angels, show me clearly most high message for Virgo. Recent past, current, and near future energies for Virgo, please. Show me clearly. Virgo. Recent past, current, and near future energies. Recent past, current, and near future energies for Virgo. Show me clearly. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess. Okay, uh, intuition, wisdom, uh, no pulling the wool over their eyes. There's a knowing there, a balance. There could be secrets, though. Okay, uh, overall energy is the moon. Speaking of secrets, okay, things coming to light overall. Um, and in the recent past, we have the Queen of Wands, the Emperor, and the Two of Wands. Um, so, uh, the Queen of Wands uh, definitely could have been dealing with somebody. I believe this Emperor energy is you, Virgo. Uh, could have uh, met someone, been dealing with someone you saw very passionate, um, uh, very beautiful. There's a connection there for sure, very strong connection. Um, I, you know, the way the cards are here. If you see them, you know, you're you're looking at her and admiring her, maybe even planning a family possibly. Um, but there's, uh, there's a decision that's made. Somebody decided to follow their best path, okay? And um, 
Yeah, it, it could be you, Virgo, uh, choosing to go after what is best for you. And um, with the Two of Wands, that, that's also uh, the divine path, okay? It's showing that, you, you know, it's the, it was the, the best decision being made there. Um, and that uh, the Emperor energy that I'm getting is, uh, you know, somebody who wanted to play by their own rules, Okay, the emperor likes to play by his own rules, likes to have everything his way. Okay, it's not necessarily that he is uh, abusive in any way. I'm not getting that. He can be, um, but um, I'm not getting that. But uh, stuck in their ways. It's, it's my way or the highway. I'm the emperor. You know, if you don't like it, then, you know, move on. Okay, uh, in the current energies uh there's the ace of cups the nine of wands and the ace of wands so um having the stamina to try one more time you know there's there's an offer here of uh overflowing affection and emotional uh uh fulfillment here and a passionate fulfillment as well and you're thinking you're going for it um in the near future here we have uh your energy here showing up in your reading here the hermit um the page of cups and the ten of swords so i'm getting that you've maybe pulled back uh you've pulled back there's um uh, some healing that took place, uh, working on making some choices, spending time getting to find out what it is that you really want, finding out, you know, what it is that you're, you know, sparks your desires here, what it is that you want, and, uh, and, and going after it. I see an apology here with the Page of Cups. And then uh, a cycle ending here with the Ten of Swords. You may have been feeling, again, defeated, this wounded, um, you know, hole in the soul type energy here. But this, this is your transformation, okay? So let me go ahead and let's get this clarified for you, Virgos. Heavenly Father, Spirit, Guide, and Angels, show me clearly most high message for Virgos let's clarify these cards here before us for Virgos thank you all right uh, show me Heavenly Father Spirit Guide and Angels why is the moon card here for Virgos. Why is the moon card here for Virgos? Show me clearly. Ah, the strength card. The seven of cups and the king of cups. We have the uh, two of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. A decision to bring balance. Okay, a decision to bring, you know, who, how am I going to offer this uh, long term? Is it possibly a commitment for you? Um, and that, and the wheel of fortune turning. Okay. Uh, so, what you might not see is. Uh, some of you, we have the Queen of Wands and we have the Strength card. So some of you could definitely be dealing with a Leo. Um, uh, possible Aries. Uh, Sagittarius too as well. Fire signs. There's a lot of Wands here. So this connection definitely had a lot of passion. Okay. It was a pretty strong connection here. But there were some options you didn't expect this, I'm getting, because of the moon card. There were some options here for this person uh, to move towards a king of cups, somebody offering uh, offering love, offering the attention, um, uh, action speaking louder than words. Okay, you didn't, you didn't see this coming. A decision was made for long term. Okay, 
Uh, let's see, why is the uh, Queen of Wands here? Tell me about the Queen of Wands for Virgo. Tell me about the Queen of Wands for Virgo. All right, we have the Empress. Yeah, you felt this person was your divine partner here. We have the Queen of Pentacles and we have the Lovers. Okay, and we have the Wheel of Fortune uh, turning in your favor. Ace of Swords after that, okay, a victory. Uh, so in the recent past, uh, you had this connection here. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles is also uh, uh, here present. So it could have been third party. Um, but we have uh, three major arcana here. <laughs> All right. And um, yeah, so this was a big deal. This was a life-changing, eye-opening kind of thing right here, this, this Queen of Wands. Um, you... you you know you saw them as as your divine partner and uh there was a queen of pentacles here the queen of pentacles is very wise very business oriented they have stability um you know a little money in their pocket um that type of thing and i get this lovers here you had to make a decision between these two the lovers card is you know originally in in tarot uh, a decision okay um, and, uh, you felt like you, you were feeling pretty good in the recent past here. Uh, show me the emperor. Okay. Yeah. You were feeling like the king of wands, like their partner here, but there's some regret, uh, you know, maybe for, uh, and there's the, Ace of Wands, again here at the bottom of the deck. But we have the King of Wands, the Five of Cups, and the Chariot. So, um, you know, you were wanting to take action, but there's been hurt here, okay, for you in the past here, Virgo. And uh, look at the five even as a V, right? Roman numeral, okay? Just saw that V for Virgo. Anyway, okay, so, uh, you know, you're caught being kind of stuck here in your past this this need to heal this hole in the soul feeling okay looking at these three cups that are spilt here you know I've tried in the past I've given my heart I've done this here I'm stuck this is my focus my back is turned to these two cups that are here okay and in tarot the two of cups is a divine gift okay a divine coupling okay partnership you have your back turned to this here okay you're not even looking at what's what's waiting for you if you just take your focus off the negative and look positively okay not only that if you choose to turn around you'll see not only this coupling here for you but there's this bridge okay and the pathway to get unstuck because the five of cups is stuck in this energy of like a depression just you know uh you know again just focused on all the failures in life okay the wounds in life not looking here and seeing that they can cross this bridge into you know not only do you get the two of cups and stuff but you get a wonderful future a home you know uh, a few yeah a future they keep saying that a future okay but uh you felt as though uh you were this person's partner or that they were your divine partner here and you you felt a balance finally for the first time and this you felt this need to take action okay to go after this opportunity here but you made a decision let's see why is the two of wands here why is the two of wands here yeah the wheel of fortune okay yeah you made a decision here somebody made a decision and to go after this passion 
um, things were feeling pretty good. You felt very victorious, very recognized, you know? Um, yeah, yeah, the wheel of fortune, you know, turning in your favor. Things being really good. Let's see, Ace of Cups. There's the Queen of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Hierophant. Again, this Ace of Wands. So uh, currently, with this Ace of Cups here, there's, there's a lot of emotion. Okay, there's a lot of emotion. You didn't see this other, you know, coupling coming in here. This other offer, possibly, um, that was being made to you. Okay, and um, there could have been a marriage involved, um, or this could be that you know somebody is uh, very kind of like strict, stuck in their ways. You know, it, it's got to happen like this, um, and that. Uh, but yeah, even if you, if you can see here, you know, this Queen of Cups, that's this very loving, nurturing person is, is looking down here at this King of Cups. And this offer is going elsewhere. Okay? This offer is going elsewhere. They're not to, looking the same. Okay? Uh, Nine of Wands. You know, kind of a defensive energy, a protective energy, but yet it, it's a stamina. You know, you do have it in you to go further, to try one more time. Yeah, but you felt somebody was, uh, yeah, you felt somebody was very sneaky and uh, untrustworthy and uh, stole your sunshine away, okay? Leaving you out in the cold, leaving you feel isolated here, okay? Uh, again, you had a tremendous happiness here. And you feel somebody came in and stole that. And it's, you've been stuck in your head. You've been stuck with these thoughts. Okay? And it's like, you know, I've been at this so long, these negative thoughts. Do I, do I give up on this opportunity? Do I give this up back here? Or do I go for it again? And you're struggling, fighting with people. There's been arguments over this. Somebody you feel is very pissed off. Okay? You feel somebody is very angry. Uh, but yet here, you're, you're kind of blaming somebody else. Okay, for your lack of action up here. Let's see, Ace of Wands. Passionate new beginning, Ace of Wands. Show me clearly. Uh, you had a choice here between your Empress and the Queen of Pentacles, and I feel you made that choice right here, okay? You made that choice. You took action, and you were feeling really good, feeling pretty victorious, okay? But uh, this could have taken a while. Let's see, Ace of Wands. Yeah, we have the Justice card, we have the Queen of Swords, and we have the Devil Energy. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Swords, Healing. Okay? So you wanted this passionate uh, beginning here. You thought you deserve it. You deserved it here. Um, you know... It was your your justice coming in. This connection you felt was very strong, and it looks like it it very much so was. But this Queen of Swords, somebody cut that out, okay? Somebody you, you feel had a goal in mind, and they just cut you out. Because we have the Devil energy here again. This uh, you needed healing after this, so this is you know taking you back. Uh, to past wounds, okay, 
taking you back to past wounds and, uh, you know, illusions and falseness um, here. And you feel somehow uh, chained, some, somehow codependent on this person. Okay. Let's see here. The hermit. Why is the hermit here? And again, I get a feeling of anger. Okay, uh, clarifying the hermit, we have the two of pentacles, the four of pentacles, and the high priestess. Okay, so uh, again, uh, secrets here, but, but something coming to light. Something coming to light here. You've been holding back. You've been guarding yourself, and you're making a decision to do something about this here. Okay, something has come to light for you. You, you you still want to make this offer, this long-term commitment, and you've been working really hard, possibly saving up some money or something like that, or, or just, you know, working on yourself, perfecting yourself, because you want to make this offer for this brand new long-term commitment. Communication is going to come in, okay? Communication is going to come in, and you're going to offer, you're going to offer, uh, your passion one more time here okay there's the apology why is the apology here why is this page of cups I should say why is the page of cups here but I feel really strongly that's exactly what this is yeah you're wanting to fight for this okay you're in a good place right now uh, financially. You're you're pretty independent. Um, you know uh, you you've had your mind focused on business, on your work, and um, you're ready to offer this long-term commitment for your happiness. Okay, for your your overall happily ever after. Here, you're willing to fight for this. Okay. You're willing to fight for this. There also could be uh, I'm getting maybe even like rumors. Something like that. Okay, messages. There it is communication, but you're you're concerned that somebody is is still really pissed. Let's see. Uh, but this is your this is your wish fulfillment. Okay? You're tired of feeling stuck. You you want to make a change. You want to remove that blindfold and, and go after what it is that you desire. End this feeling of complete destruction, okay? Of nightmares. Alright, you want to heal. Yeah, you want to heal and you, you're determined to go after your happiness. I think this is somebody you've been watching, okay? And you want that passionate beginning. You want to move towards calmer waters with them, possibly to a marriage. You can't make this up. Look at this. It's card after card. Jeez. All right. To get that balance and in divine time, you're going to do that because you deserve it. This Ace of Cups. Yeah. Okay. Dang. Let's see. The Ten of Swords here for Virgo. Why is this here? Ten of Swords. Again, this end of a cycle I'm feeling. End of a cycle. End of this feeling of defeat. Okay. There's a new beginning here. Okay. But, uh... You're becoming enlightened to something again. You you felt like things were stagnant this whole time, um, but they haven't been. You've you've been healing. You've been finding out what you truly want, and there's this aha moment here. Okay, there's this aha moment, and um, we have the uh, nine of wands in the reverse. 
Okay, so feeling like you might not be able to do it yet. Again, that temperance that was there earlier. Okay, it, it's maybe not time yet for you. You're still working on this. Because Virgo, you're still stuck in your head. Okay, let's see. One more for Ten of Swords, please. Yeah, still stuck in your head. Okay, still stuck in your head with the Nine of Swords, but this is a divine gift. Okay, again, we went through that with the Five of Cups. You're not seeing what they're trying to give you here. This, you see this person as being, uh, you know, pre-empress again, uh, and you want to make that offer. You want to clear your thoughts and go for it. Move on. Come out of the fight. Okay. Taking a chance, okay? Things coming to light for you. Even though you're not aware of what's going on. Yeah, it, I think you've been spying on this person too. Or they, you. Take it how it resonates. I'm just reading the cards here. Uh, let's see. Heavenly Father, Spirit Guide, and Angel, show me clearly. Most high message for Virgo. Most high message for Virgo. Any advice or further messages you have for Virgo? Show me now. Show me clearly. Any advice or further messages regarding this reading for Virgo? All right. Show me clearly. Virgo. we're done okay the bottom of the deck it's not the right time right now okay it's not the right time right now uh, we have the be assertive take action okay and l let go let go of your fears let go of your doubts this this negative energy here let go okay take action towards healing yourself okay really you know looking at the situation and healing yourself healing your past don't bring your baggage forward okay but but be assertive when you when you take that time and heal go after what it is that you want okay but uh, you need to heal first. This isn't the time for you right now. It's in divine timing. They have a plan, okay? They have a plan, and uh, the hardest thing we can do is sit there and, and wait and that. But uh, you're healing, okay? You have choices to make, all right? Still working on things, working on healing yourself so that you have something to offer, okay as a whole all right virgo uh this is a wonderful energy i love this energy because it's healing it's growth okay and that's always a positive okay and uh yeah it, it's that's that's what it is you need to to heal yourself don't bring your past forward with you okay but uh this is a, a very strong connection very strong connection and uh yeah i wish you the best with this i hope this resonated with some of you at least and um it gives you some food for thought okay um i get the feeling again like i say in the beginning your thoughts are kind of all over and um not organized and you kind of keep doing this oh yeah i want to do this and then, you know, oh no, I want to do that. And then the next day you're back and forth and, you know, it's going to work. And, you know, I'm going for it. And, oh no, it's not going to work. I'm going to fail. 
you know, I'm not going for it and, and back and forth. And I think you've been doing that, this battle within your head. You think somebody is still upset with you or you possibly are still upset with them. Okay, but it's time to heal that. Okay, forgive that. Forgive yourself for that if need be, if you're not communicating. And then just, you know, move forward. Take the actions that you know in your heart you need to take because you have victory here. Okay, you have the spiritual strength. There's obstacles and challenges to getting what you want. Okay, um, but you're protected. Okay, you're being guided divinely. And this card always reminds me here, you know, God bless the broken road. Okay, so, uh, you know, go after what it is you want. All right, let go of those fears. Virgo, I could keep going. They're, they're telling me all kinds of stuff, but I need to try and keep these short. So you have a wonderfully blessed day, and we will see you next time. Take care.